Welcome to the Joy of Music. Featuring the First Lady of the Organ, Diane Bish. We invite you to meet great composers and performers. Travel to Europe's ancient monasteries and snow-covered Alps. Visit great historical cathedrals and beautiful lakes and gardens. Praise ye the Lord. Praise Him with stringed instruments and organs. Praise Him with a psaltery and harp. Praise Him with a trumpet. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. And now, Miss Diane Bish. Welcome to the Joy of Music. Today we come to you from the colorful town of Lindau, situated on glittering Lake Constance in southern Germany. In the middle of Lindau, is a colorful flower-filled square and on that square stands the great Protestant Church. Today on the program we bring you music from this church with the organ and special guest cellist Anne Martindale Williams. Martindale Williams is one of the master cellists in the world today. She is the principal cellist of the Pittsburgh Symphony, has played in PBS specials with Andre Preventrio, and has been featured in solo concerts and as soloist with many of the world's great orchestras. Her amazing technique and depth of expression have received critical acclaim 
worldwide.
Lake Constance, sometimes known as the Bodensee, is one of the most picturesque areas in all of southern Germany. Along the lake, colorful villages are filled with ancient buildings, castles, gilded houses, and multicolored flowers. As a part of the Baroque Highway, these villages overlook the sparkling lake. In the distance, one can see the Austrian and Swiss Alps. Today's guest, Anne Martindale Williams, is a special friend of mine and the joy of music. Not long ago, in a recording session, I spoke with Anne about her life as a professional musician. Isn't it true that you are the first uh, woman in the orchestra to have a principal chair? Uh, principal cellist. We have a uh, principal harp player, of course, oh. and pianist. But, um, it's quite unusual to have a woman to be principal cellist in an orchestra. In Europe, it's never done. Well, Anne, I know you to be a person of a very vital Christian faith. And I'd like to ask you, what difference does your faith make in your music? Or perhaps in your playing in the orchestra? Mm -hmm. Well, Scripture tells me that whatever I do to do it to the honor of the Lord, and to his glory and so I find that I must remember whenever I perform to dedicate each performance to his glory and also it's interesting that scripture also says to play skillfully on string instruments that's and right. that's what I try to remember when you're practicing and getting ready for a performance that it's 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 in honor of the Lord and I can give him no less than the best that I have he has done so much for me and I'm so grateful to him that I try to return my talent to him
any European cathedral or church, one of the most inviting elements is the pealing of the tower bells. Heard throughout the day, these bells remind us not only of the hour, but of the church itself. Monuments of faith to the Almighty, the eternal God who calls us to Himself. The teaching of the Protestant Church of Lindau states that for those who trust in Christ as Savior and Lord, there is strength, power, and direction for our daily lives and the promise of life eternal.
The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Today the joy of music has come to you from the beauty of Lindau on Lake Constance in southern Germany. My special guest has been Anne Martindale Williams, cellist. We pray that you have been blessed and enriched by the music today. Thank you for joining us and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music. Thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music. Diane Bisch and The Joy of Music wish to thank Lufthansa German Airlines for their support in making this program possible.